Mount Deception. It's about 7,780 feet tall. This is the second highest of the Olympic range in Washington. Mount Olympus is the highest at 7,960. The third highest is Mount Constance, 7,700, I believe, 30. So Mount Constance, I believe, is the one that's in the shadow over there. You can kind of see the outline. That's usually the highest one that you're going to see from Seattle and the ferry. Uh, the Brothers is the double-headed one that everyone recognizes. Constance is that high, sharp, jagged one. And I believe it is that right there, but it could be in the smoke. As you can see, it's very hazy and smoky. Um, and then right next to it would be Warrior Peak, which is like a sub-peak to it. Okay. <clears throat> So directly across from me, uh, the one that's actually shown here is, I believe, Mount Fricaba, which I believe is just uh, over 7,000 feet tall. Uh, in the background, it looks like there's some really high ones. Um, they're about the same height as Fricaba. It's just kind of hard to tell. Um, but it's Buckhorn Mountain, which is 6,950. It's just shy of 7,000. And then it kind of drags down into a ridge below there. Um, I don't really remember the name of the interior ridge between Dungeness and Royal Basins. Um, most of them are about 65 to 6,700 feet high. Okay, so in the far, far distance, it's kind of in smoke, is Grey Wolf Ridge. Grey Wolf Ridge is like around 7,200. And then these are the Jagged Needles, which I personally believe are probably the hardest peaks in the Olympic range. Um, even harder than Cruiser, um, harder than the Brothers, probably comparable to Olympus. Um, there, I would argue an amateur probably couldn't do them, but you, you know, you never know. So, um, in the picture, uh, let's see if you can see my finger. All right, that one. Oh, sorry. Okay, great. Get, get off. Okay, that one right there is Mount Clark, 7,500. That one right there is Mount Johnson, 7680. And then that is Martin Peak, which is about 7660. Um, Johnson's very difficult. I'm, it might be the toughest peak in the range. Down here, um, I forgot the name of that guy, but that little tower right there is called... Get Damn it, focus. Gilhuli Tower. I thought about soloing it, but I'm just fucking tired. I'm just <clears throat> part of my French. I am tired. Okay. It's kind of hard to see a lot of the mountains over there, so I'm not really going to point them out today. I believe, now if you look closely in the center of the image, so right, I'm going to use my finger this time again, right there and there, once it focuses, I believe that's Mount Olympus. Um, it's the only one that's got that much glaciers. It could be Mount Anderson. Um, Anderson also breaks 7,000 feet. Same with Cameron. But I think it's Olympus because it kind of looks like it might be higher than here. And my favorite one, I'm glad I got to get a good photo of it or, and or video. This is Mount Mystery. Now, I said Mount Johnson might be the hardest. I might take that back. It might be Mystery. And the reason for it is not because it's maybe technical. Like Johnson and Clark get technical. Um, mystery has almost as bad of a, an approach as Olympus when it comes to just mileage. 
you have to cross that glacier right there. Um, it's definitely crevasse ridden. And it's still probably like a solid class four to low fifth climb to get to the top of that. It's pretty high too. It's 76, I think, 40. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, down there is Royal Basin. So the really milky white is a former glacier. No, I believe it's actually the largest glacier that Deception had. The bits of snow, I guess you could argue, is still the remnant of it. Um, but the two little milky white lakes, yes, were part of glaciers. I believe the smaller other one is too. Uh, the blue lake over there is the upper royal lake, I think. And then down there is the main royal lake. And uh, yeah, it took me a hell of a long time to get up here. And hopefully I get back down before it gets dark. Specifically, I'm hoping to at least get to the... Um, that upper lake by dark. That's my minimum goal. I'd like to get to Royal Lake by dark. And I honestly, I just like to get back in the car by dark. We'll see. So, yeah.